First thing we need to do is download the IP setup tool. This is located on the CD or downloaded from rtautomation.com. Hover over support, depending on the product you have, choose the corresponding option. The IP setup tool is the same on all pages. By default, all products are shipped out DHCP. The RTA unit will request an IP address from a DHCP server. If you do not have a DHCP server, this is where Auto IP comes into play. At this point in time, apply 7 to 24 volts DC to your RTA unit. You can plug an Ethernet cable from your PC to your RTA unit, or you can connect an Ethernet cable from your switch to the RTA product. Navigate to the Your Start menu, do a search for Control Panel, click View Network Status and Tasks, change adapter settings. If you have a wire, wireless turned on, go ahead and turn that off, it will interfere. You want to right click Local Area Connection, click on Properties, click Internet Protocol Version 4, hit the radio button for Obtain IP Address Automatically, and then click OK. Open the command prompt, type in IP Config. We need to verify your PC is set up for auto IP. Try again, sometimes it takes a couple seconds. Here you can see the PC assigned itself an auto IP of 169.254.200.0. Now launch the RTA tool. Now you'll see on the right hand side under select a unit, your RTA product will be visible with an auto IP address. To change your RTA product to a static IP address, enter in the NDK settings on the left for example, I'm using 192.168.0.23, class C subnet mask, gateway is optional. Click the set button and close out of IP setup. Go back to your network configuration and change your PC back to a static IP address. Properties, IPv4, use the following IP. I'm entering 192.168.0.100. And I'm pressing OK. I'm going to verify my PC has this static IP address. All right, looks good. I'm going to ping the RTA unit now. Great. Open up IP setup. Now you can either launch the, the web page from here or you can simply go to a web browser, type in the IP address of your RTA unit. 